Your water utility takes the quality of the water it produces very seriously. So your water utility wants to help you maintain that high quality drinking water through your household's plumbing system. Believe it or not, less than 20% of the water you use every day is for drinking. Flushing toilets, watering the lawn, washing dishes and clothes, taking baths, even leaks in your plumbing account for most of the water you use daily. And yet, every drop of water delivered to your home is intended to be high quality for drinking purposes. Water comes to your home by way of large pipe buried in the street. The pipe in the street is connected to your household plumbing by way of a water service line or pipe. You can ask your water utility whether you own your water service pipe and what material it is made of. Your water meter located on the water service pipe tracks the amount of water you use and may be attached inside or outside your home. Once water enters your household plumbing system, it divides into a cold water and hot water system. Hot water systems are not intended to provide drinking water. These systems are intended for hot water needs such as laundry, washing dishes, and bathing. Several common problems in plumbing can lessen water quality. For example, aging plumbing and poor construction can lead to corrosion and other problems. Consider replacing old corroded plumbing, especially lead and old galvanized pipe, with new plumbing materials. If your water pipe leaks, you should try to identify the problem and have a licensed plumber inspect it and make any necessary repairs. Stagnant water in the pipes from low or no water use can allow sediment and scale to collect and can contribute to corrosion and the growth of nuisance bacteria. Sediment and scale buildup in the pipe can be due to hard water or rust from old pipes. You can ask your water utility about whether your water is hard or soft and whether the water is corrosive to certain plumbing materials. If you have a whole house water treatment system, such as a water softener, it must be maintained according to the manufacturer's instructions. A homeowner may be alerted to household water problems by the water's taste and smell, by discolored water, by sediment and particles, or by stained sinks and laundry. Hot water systems can contribute to water problems that you may think are coming out of your cold water. Have a licensed plumber drain and flush your water heater annually. This will reduce problems coming from your hot water system. Maintain the water heater temperature according to the manufacturer's instructions. Water that is too hot is a risk for scalding. Water that is not hot enough allows the bacteria to grow in the water heater. Cross connections between the drinking water and non-drinking water, such as heating system or fire sprinkler system, can allow contaminated water to backflow into the drinking water system. Flush cold water taps by opening the faucets after any work on household plumbing. Construction can introduce contaminants that should be flushed out. Flush household water taps by letting the water run for several minutes when water has not been used for several days. Water that is stagnant can allow corrosion products to build up and bacteria to grow. Hot tap water should not be used for drinking or cooking foods. Hot water can contain bacteria and increased levels of metals. Use cold water from clean and well-maintained faucets where water is regularly used or after there's been a lot of water use. Store drinking water in a clean, covered water pitcher and place in the refrigerator for convenient high-quality drinking water. Have a licensed and qualified plumber conduct a survey of your plumbing system with you, using the items presented in this video as a guide. Your water utility takes great pride in delivering high-quality drinking water to your house. If you have any questions, contact your water utility for more information on drinking water quality. Remember, you too have an important role to play in maintaining water quality all the way to the glass.